hey everyone i am back again with my new video and this time once again i'm going to show you another feature for microsoft teams especially for teachers so if you have not watched my previous videos do go for my go and watch my previous videos and subscribe to my channel and also share it okay so let's start our new video here in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a microsoft forms quiz and assign it to students okay last time we created an assignment and uh, we have we shown you how a student can turn it in and uh, it can be graded by a teacher okay and this time we are going to create a quiz okay so i'm inside my microsoft teams desktop application and signed in as a teacher or as a global administrator you would say inside my teams i have three teams i'm going to show you go with the class 1a team so i'm clicking here at class 1a okay go to the assignments tab you can see three tabs here drafts the assignments which are in the under draft assigned we have zero assigned and graded we have this assignment which we showed you in the previous video okay so let's click create and click quiz in the previous video which show you do how to do create assignment in this video we are going to use quiz so let's click quiz you can see microsoft teams has by default show uh, displayed as microsoft forms application to create a quiz if you have uh, already existing forms you can choose any one of them or you can simply click new form here so let's click new form so we are right here inside forms.office.com okay let's click new quiz here is the our uh, quiz details and questions where we can write this is the title of the quiz let's give it a title class 1a quiz let's give it as this description all right now let's add a new question so we have four options and if we click this drop down we have some other options we have choice option for those questions which have multiple choice questions if there is any question related to any write an essay or a small paragraph or anything you can click the text form if there is any question related to rating you can choose the rating option and if there is any question related to timelines or dates you can go for dates and then there is ranking questions as well like it uh, and also file uploads where you can upload the files from your local or one drive and also a section and net promoter score so these are all types of questions that you can use as a quiz so let's first try with choice i'm clicking choice so let's write any question here okay we have two options by default you can add another options by clicking add options so let's say we have four options here you can also shuffle them like option four will be in two three and one four three two like this so let's give any options like this and as a teacher you can select this corrected one by clicking the tick option right here right in front of the option you can see a delete which will delete this option a comment or a hint you can say hint or you can say uh, the message that will be appeared as a when a student will be responding to the question So let's click this correct answer. Let's see what other options we have. We can have points, but which how many points for this particular question? Two points. If there is any multiple answers that you want student to have, you can click the multiple answers and then choose multiple corrected options like this. Okay. But right now I'm going sticking with only one option, seven. If you want to make this question as required or mandatory to answer, you can click this check mark. Okay, like this. 
let's add another question click rating so this is a rating questions like this so we can add the stars we have five stars we can add six stars or we can add three stars as well so it's up to you you can add five stars you can also change the symbols as numbers or as a star okay also the points for this question this is two and you can also change it as, as a required one you can also shuffle this question like if you want the question number two to be appeared as one so you can do like this okay so this question will appear as one and now this is as question two okay what other options we have we have subtitle label and branching subtitle will be for any hint or any tips for students so you can see a subtitle text bar is added okay and if we go here we can have a label as well the label for one star label for five star like this okay you can also add branching to add a branch for this questions i'm not going to show you this because uh, this is not the part of this video so this will have a branch where you can redirect your question to any other branch okay let's say we have some settings more and let's click this ellipsis button and click on settings so what options we have here options for quiz show results automatically so the responders will be able to see the results automatically if you want it to be enabled you can click toggle off or on right here okay i want the respondents to be able to see the nonsense right here uh, automatically who can fill out the forms anyone with this link or only people in your organization you can choose the uh, any of these two options and what do you want to record if you want to record their name or one person one response per person so what do you want to record it so you can also select this by default we have check mark both options options for responses accept responses do you want the response to be accepted yes because that is why I, uh, that is how i will be going to grade them you can also mention a start date when this be a st starting for this quiz you can also mention an end date with the start date so after this date is co consumed you know, the students will not be able to respond okay you can also shuffle question all questions and lock questions so shuffle questions means every student will have these questions as shuffled and if i click the lock questions you can choose the questions which questions do you want to be as shuffled right now i only have two questions one and two so i have a pair i'm giving as one or two so it means uh, i have shuffled the question so the student a will give they have question one as this and question two as this but a student b will have question one as this question and question one as a so this is how it will be shuffled okay so if you have lots of questions like hundreds of questions you can use this so it will help in security and also uh, it will help the, the teachers to maintain the uh, questions for students so i'm going to do use the all questions customize thank you options you can do like this so it will be appeared as ending message when the questions has been answered send an email to respondents when the uh, uh, answer has been given and get an email notification for each response as a teacher you will have an email response uh, whenever a student will be able to answer it okay so let's click share you can see i can share it as a copy and uh, copy it and share it with my team on the channel like this i've already have it and i can go to my channel here and i can paste it here like this but this is this will not assign it to the students what other options we have is what we can do is we can go to this is a preview of the question uh, quiz 
and if I go to responses you can use as give the open in Excel but there is no responses as well and uh, there is also a option for themes you can select a theme I have selected this one this looks nice so now let's share it with the, our students so you can so choose the option anyone with this link can respond so it will be as a public any people in my organization only so it will be only for your organization you can copy this link and paste it in the channel directly you can also download this QR code embed it in the website or email it so let's copy this URL and let's go back to our teams assignments let's click create let's click assignment now I'm going to create an assignment like this or you can do it like this science category you can add any instruction okay now click add resource now click link now paste the link here now click the now you can have it as a text to display class 1a click attach so you can see the quiz has been attached you can add the points total points let's say six if you want to assign it to students let's say only one okay due date is uh, let's make it right now and let's click assign so this quiz has been assigned now and if I go back to my channel So you can see uh, it will appear a notification here in a few in a while yeah, here is it assignment quiz has been this is a teacher's view okay so I am seeing the assignment here the due date here so this has been assigned to my channel and to the students now let's go to the student view I am assigned in as a student view so let's go to my class so I can see my teacher has has an assignment here let's click view assignment so you can see I have class 1a quiz category science six points these are the instructions that I have to follow these are the material so what I will have to do is just go here open online so you can see I can see the quiz now this is the instructions let me answer let's click submit the quiz is completed I can also see the results I got two and this okay now I have submitted it all I can do is if you have uh, any word document that you want to attach you can also attach it otherwise no need you can just quickly hit turn in so you have turned in now so it means your teacher will be able to know that this student student a has turned in with this quiz or attempted this quiz now let's go back to teachers view let's go to assignments tab you can see I have also got the email from Microsoft Forms let's click the assignment so you can see student A has turned in now let's click on turned in so as there was no work attached I also know that because this was a form so I can see the quiz online right here in the responses because I am the teacher so I can see the responses got average score 2 so these are the details so I can see the work here I can post the score you can see
okay let's give him student a two points and two points here okay let's click review and next Uh, not sure why it is not loading anyways let's go back so you can see student a has been created full points okay let's go back and then now let's go to the teams i hope it will load it and make it as a graded Click return. So you can see now quiz one a student has been graded. All right? So this is how it works. You can also open the student work right from here. But as you can see, uh, the there is was no work attached, it was an online quiz, so I cannot see any work attached okay so this is how a quiz can be made in Microsoft Teams using forms and uh, how a student can attempt it I have also shown you and how a teacher can grade it okay so you can see the students has also got the notification the assignment has been returned he can click the assignments and he can see his points okay so that is all in my video right now i will back again with my new video for another session for another new feature i hope you will like it and if you have any comments please drop down okay thank you so much please subscribe my channel and uh, do watch my videos thank you